What's up guys, it's your boy Tachanka here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be showcasing and reviewing a new product. What? what's this? You mean it's not an unfunny moment video? I tend to stay away from making review videos because it's not what the majority of you guys subscribed for, which did not impact... Fucking shit. However, this is a little bit different because it does have to do with me. One Tigris, which is my newest channel sponsorship, collaborated with me to design and make an official Storm Lower Face Mesh Mask. A little bit of backstory, if you guys have been here for a while and recalled me making a video back in 2016, which was a tutorial on how to paint your lower face mask the way I did. It was a well received video and I told you guys followed along with it, painted your own versions of the mask which was really cool. Thing is, I never played with that mesh mask because of how hard it was to aim due to how bulky and stiff the standard metal mesh masks are. Shortly after I discovered the foldable mesh mask from One Tigress, I fell in love with them. They are comfortable, well made, they allowed me to aim down sights very comfortably. They are great masks and I have a very hard time coming out with a solid complaint on them. There is one nitpick however that did bum me out a bit, which did not impact the performance of the foldable mask at all. It was when it came to customizing and painting the foldable mesh mask. It was very difficult to make them look as good as the regular mesh masks due to the nylon materials on the side not working very well with paint. With your gun rubbing up against your mask, it comes off so easily and makes the side panels with paint quickly fade away. You can just paint the center where your middle section is because it's still metal mesh. It's just not the same in my opinion. You're losing so much space for better artwork and I was never really satisfied with having this little bit of space to paint something on. Painting teeth for example for some reason reminds me of this fucking thing. Um, I don't know why it reminds me of this whenever I see teeth in the center of a mask, but yeah, I, I don't like it. Well, the production team over at One Tiger suggested a different option. A concept that they had in mind to try out but never really tackled. They suggested a big patch with a teeth design, in my case it would be a design inspired by my mesh mask design. Not gonna lie, at first I was a little skeptical about it. I was concerned about multiple things such as aiming down sides, being more difficult, breathability, durability, and how well the patch stayed on. Well, after I received this prototype in the mail, which is a prototype, it doesn't differ a whole ton from the finalized version, I'll let you guys know what the final version has at the very end. I told One Tigress that I will be using this mask for a couple weeks to see how it holds up, how it feels, see if there's anything wrong with the mask, before we consider possibly releasing these to the public. They 100% agreed and were patient enough to let me get some playing time with the mask. So the very first thing I did when I received my mask was testing to see if I could aim down sides properly. It was my number one concern with this mask when I put everything on and snapped aim onto my LVOAC M4 with the T1 style red dot that I often use. I was in great relief when I saw that I was able to perfectly see a glowing red dot smack center of the sight picture. I swapped back and forth with the regular folding mesh that I already had and the prototype mesh mask and I was still able to see the red dot on both of them. I then tried it on a vector, again I was still able to see the red dot no problem. I even tried to see if I could aim through my rear sights and I was still able to do so no problem. It was my biggest concern regarding this new mask. The number one benefit you got from the regular folding mask was that he had the ability to aim down sights with ease and no struggle and still look through your red dot. With an added layer of PVC over the mask, I was concerned that that wouldn't be the case anymore. Fortunately though, that's not the case at all. I was still able to look down my T1 replica on a variety of guns with no problem. Another thing I was on the lookout for was fogging. Although I've never had an issue with fogging on my old One Tigress foldable mesh mask I've used, it is a common issue that a lot of users run into when it comes to face protection, so it was something I was keeping an eye out on. The goggles I used during my playtime were brand new ESS Desert Locust. Oh wait, they're not ESS, I think they're Revision. The goggles I used during my playtime were brand new Revision Desert Locust tactical goggles. I've never used them before up until I got this mesh mask didn't remove the phone underneath or mess with them in any way to try to increase airflow. I'd like to report that I did not experience any fogging at all during my play sessions with this Bruh. setup. I was playing in relatively warm weather around the high 80s. Yes, high 80s is considered relatively warm for me. I had a full gray and black loadout, balaclava underneath with my nose exposed, and I didn't experience any fogging and was able to breathe without an issue. Despite it sounding like I'm about to pass out every 10 seconds after running for 15 feet. Because I'll most likely get questions regarding the stuff that I wear, such as these goggles, my helmet, etc. I will be leaving a small list of the headgear that I use down in the description. I'm not paid or sponsored to showcase anything else other than this mask, but I'll still leave a list of what I use in the description for those who are interested in getting the stuff that I use. Now, in terms of the fit, 
if it's just as good as any other mesh mask that I've worn. Now that being said, the prototype and the finalized masks are considered to be the large size mesh mask. From my testing and time wearing this mask, it feels like any other mesh mask I've ever worn. So if you've worn a regular mesh mask and it fits you fine, chances are this one will too. But if you have a small head or have had a trouble wearing mesh masks properly in the past before, you may be out of luck this time around. I can't say for certainty if one tigers will ever produce smaller velcro foldable mesh mask or patches in the future. This mask does utilize the twin strap in the back which I personally prefer over the single strap. So in terms of the overall fit, I do have a decently large sized head, but just like every other lower face mask that I have worn, this one fit me no problem. The patch itself is a pretty large PVC patch. On the left side here you have the One Tigris trademark and on the right you have the Storm trademark. The finalized version of the word Storm will have the font changed to the proper font which I will show you at the very end. But as for the design itself, it was based off my very first take on a mesh mask teeth paint job. I don't have it with me unfortunately, but my very first paint job that I did looked a lot like this. It has the red tongue or gum right in between the teeth here at the bottom. I think the red makes it look slick. It reminds me of the old World War II P-40 Warhawk planes. It looks very sharp, slick, eye-catching, and very vibrant. Especially since it's on a PVC patch rather than mesh, since metal mesh consists of a lot of little tiny holes, which at times doesn't make the design look solid. In terms of durability, it held up just fine. Nothing was coming off. The patch was sewed on very nicely. It didn't seem to dent when it got hit while I was playing. It did get a little bit dirty while I was playing by getting covered in dirt, but I just cleaned it up with a napkin and water, no problem. One Tigress does recommend that you clean the patch with rubbing alcohol and wipes. It's perhaps a better option. I'm not really sure because I don't really take care of the patches that I have right now up until now. So yeah, do keep that in mind. So like I said in the very beginning, this mask is a prototype. We did finalize it and have some changes done which I will be covering right now. So the first thing we did was have, like I said, the font where it says Storm changed. It was changed to the font that I used for my channel. I usually don't use my channel name in my videos since I usually just show my logo. But we did change it so the side of my name will have the proper font that I use just for that extra bit of authenticity that what you're getting is really a product that I was involved in. Another change that will differ from the prototype and the final release are the velcro panels. Instead of it being two small rectangular sections on both sides, the entire nylon sides both on the left and right will be covered in velcro. We decided to completely cover it with velcro because we want to give the user complete control and to let them move around and adjust the patch wherever they need to. The last things we did in terms of changes were the final name of the product. Originally this mask was going to be named Danger Closed and Shock Point and then Nightfall. But at the end we decided to just simply name it Storm to avoid confusing anyone when they go out and find this mask. It doesn't change anything else, but this mask will be listed as Storm just to avoid confusion with a different name. So this mask is set to retail at $22.59 for the entire set which includes the foldable mesh mask with the velcro and the giant Storm themed PVC patch that attaches onto it. When it comes to the price, I do believe it's a fair price considering what you're getting, which is a one Tigris foldable mesh mask with velcro and a giant PVC patch to go with it, which sounds small but remember it's a PVC patch. PVC patches are normally like three to three and a half inches big. This one's 11 inches big, which doesn't sound very big, but when you see it, it's pretty freaking big. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ha! Gay! Before we wrap all this up, I do want to let you guys know who stuck around all the way to the end that One Tigress and I will be hosting a couple things regarding these masks over at Instagram. One of them being a giveaway of these masks and the other one being a contest where you can enter and submit a mesh mask design and have a chance of being selected to collaborate yeah. and work with One Tigress and having your design be made for sale. First thing being the giveaway, we are giving away five of these masks. The rules on the giveaway post will be on my page as well as One Tigress's Instagram page. You can only enter once per post. It'll be a two week window to get all the entries we can. If you want an additional entry, just do the same over at One Tigress's giveaway post. Same steps and everything. Again, you are only limited to one entry per post. So a total of two entries if you enter on both my post and One Tigress's post. The second thing One Tigress is doing is a contest regarding these mesh masks. It's a contest that goes over the span of three months. So what it is is that you design and submit your very own mesh mask patch. If your design is loved by the One Tigress team, they will select two people each month. So at the very end, they'll have six total contenders for a chance of two of the six working alongside with One Tigress to produce that patch design for the public. If you purchase one of these Storm Mesh Masks, you also receive a blank canvas that you could draw on if you want to. A file will also be available down in the description for those of you who want to do the artwork over at Photoshop or any art program. 
totally optional. You don't have to participate. But if you have a cool idea for your design, give it a shot. Bruh. That'll pretty much wrap up this whole video. Thank you, One Tigress, for the collaboration and working alongside with me throughout this entire making of the mask. And thank you, Randy, field owner and manager Bruh. of my favorite airsoft park, which is Code Red Airsoft Park in Paris, California. He's been a really big help on multiple things here on the channel, as well as participating in my skits and shenanigans. I really appreciate it, dude. Be sure to check out both Code Red Airsoft Park and One Tigress in Bruh. the description. Again, I'll have links to their sites and social medias if you guys want to check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed these masks as much as I did. Again, thank you, One Tigers, for making this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.